So here comes Silvio Schirle of Germany, 24 years of age. Here's the German boxer. Part of a full-sized maximum strength, 13 strong German boxing team. And his opponent is part of an eight-strong contingent from Tajikistan. And that is Shabos Nega Toloev. Frank Fiaco of Canada is the third man in the ring. And we are underway. So boxers from Germany and Tajikistan contesting this one. Looking to establish his lead left jab is Silvio Schierle, 24 years of age from Saalfeld in Germany. His opponent is also 24 years old, and that is Shabos Negmatoloev. Very experienced operator comes to the ring as the reigning Asian Championship bronze medalist from Dubai earlier this summer. 81 kilogram light heavyweight. Competed in the Olympic Games in Tokyo as well, but was eliminated in the first preliminary round, incredibly experienced operator, quarter finalist in the world champs at 81 kilograms back in 2017 in Hamburg. And didn't make it out of the second preliminary round in Yekaterinburg two years later. So an incredibly experienced operator is Meg Mataloev. in having success between the gloves and the attempted defenses of Schirle. He tries a right hand lead. Good left hand to the body. What a beautiful left hook checking the chin of Schirle. That's caused him to become a little bit disorganized, but he's got his stance beneath him now. But he really does get terrific leverage on his punches, often from short range, Negmatoloev. Good right hand to the body landed by Pshirle. And look at the way the left hook went behind the glove. And then the second left hook from Negmatoloev was of the flashing variety. And again, it just swiveled the head of his opponent. So final 20 seconds or so of this opening round. Meg Mataloev looking for the more bent on punches, but after his right uppercut was off the mark, the left uppercut coming back from Schirle. Mouthpiece has been dislodged. <laughs> Schirle went looking for it, which might be a bit of a dangerous tactic. Now, in fairness, referee Frank Fiaco called time immediately. And the mouthpiece was dislodged by a punch wasn't spat out. So both boxers have to get guided to the neutral corners after the reinsertion as COVID-19 countermeasures are being followed closely here at Belgrade 2021. The latex gloves of the referee have to be disinfected. 
from assistance ringside. So, terrific opening round of action between Silvio Schierlep and Shabos Negmatoloev. His nose could well have been damaged by some of those uppercuts that were able to be scored on the inside. Well, Schierle taking it on a 4-1 split. Negmatoloev like perhaps a little bit unfortunate there to just get one score. I thought the round was a little bit closer than that, but that's irrelevant. Make no mistake, he's certainly in the contest. Here's some of the action from that opening round. So into the second round then, the first round taken on a 4-1 split by Silvio Schierle. Competing the World Championships in his home nation when the event was staged in Hamburg in 2017. And that was down in the 75 kilogram middleweight division. So as the 24-year-old continues to mature and fill out, here he is a weight division north in light, the light heavyweight ranks. And again, Negmatoloev, well, he's put on the end of a double jab there, but look at how he's able to breach the defenses of Schürrle with his straight punching. Now, for my money, he was doing that to good effect in the opening round, but only took one, the score of one judge. So Schürrle, he turns a nice left uppercut underneath. Minute gone in the second round. Good double jab from Negmatoloev. The jab right cross to the body from Schürrle. All of the shots were off the mark. The jab blocked by the forearms before the right cross was deflected wide of the mark. So Negmatoloev just electing to back up before digging in a hard left hand to the body. The right hand did get between the defenses of Schürrle. Schürrle goes in search of his payback, but couldn't quite find the range. He's over the front foot now. Negmatoloev. Hands down behind beyond punching range and a left hook success once again. So midway through this second round, and again, it's been a, for my money, this has been a very good start for the man from Tajikistan. Good right hand from Shirley as an eye catching shot. He's on the front foot now, and as the shots were exchanged, it was an altogether more solid shot landed by the man in blue. Right hand gets behind the rear of the gloves of Shirley from Negmatoloev. Shirley came back with his own combination, but then a double attack without reply from Negmatoloev, who lands a left hand to the body and circles off in a clockwise direction. Good right hand to the body to start that cluster of punches from Shirley. Inside the final minute as the boxers exchange jabs, the jab of Negmatoloev caused the attempted right cross of Shirley to fall short. Disruptive left jab. Poked out once again, then a straight left gets between the defenses of the man in red from Negmatoloev. Check left hand is a beautiful lead shot from the man in blue. Increasingly, uh, increasing amount of damage to that nose of Schürrle from the accurate punches that are snaking between his defenses from Schürrle. The referee, Frank Fiaco, speaking in the direction of Schürrle about the illegal tactic of pushing the head of his opponent down. Terrific round of action. Again, we'll see what the scorecards of the judges return, but I think the man in the other corner, Shabod, Shabos Negmatoloev, was the governor in that second three-minute round. But how will the judges see it? Conceded the first on a 4-1 split. And he's taken the second round unanimously. So it is all square for four of the five scoring judges. Negmatoloev has a 20 points to 18 lead for Judge B. He scored the first in his favor. But it was a terrific performance in round number two. Wonderfully accurate punching. That was Shirley's best shot of the round. But in between that, that is what Negmatoloev was able to produce. 
An accurate left jab, a disruptive annoyance of a left jab, getting it between the hands of his opponent because Schürrle invariably has his hands up around his temples. But somehow the accuracy of the work of the man from Tajikistan is finding a gap in his defenses and able to find the target. So final round underway then. Good right hand success landed by Nigmatiloev once again. Schürrle will be aware of the context of the bout and the fact that the momentum is with the man in blue, but look how composed Nigmatiloev appears to be. Schürrle, again, left hook, right hand, but they were caught by the gloves of his opponent. It's been forwarded a high clip, this one. Left, right success, partially blocked by the gloves of Shirley, but it did manage to snake its way through. He comes back with a right hand of his own. Good work to the body by the man in red. Remember, this contest in the balance. In the event that it's a split decision victory. Oh, good right hand landed again from Negmatilev, but Shirley came straight back with his own, and then Negmatilev responded once again. And Shirley continuing to press. Is Negmatilev feeling the pace, or is he electing to box on the back foot? What a right uppercut, followed by a left hook. Terrific punch picking from the man in blue. Standing his ground on this occasion, just trying to lure the man in. And Shirley just holds onto the rope to prevent Negmatilev from working away. He took a torrid right uppercut, and then a left hook followed it. And the nose that has been damaged, well, that's not going to do it any good whatsoever. Punches like that. Right hand success just a few moments ago. Schürrle goes downstairs with a burst of punches to the body. Straight shots exchanged upstairs once again. Beyond the midpoint of the third and final round, Schürrle continues to press. But I don't think, well, which way is it going for my money with a minute to go? This round still up for grabs. Eye-catching work has been produced by Neg Mataloev. Remember, it is all square for four of the five scoring judges. Only judge two from India scored the first round in favor of the man from Tajikistan. So he has a 20 points to, le 20 points to 18 lead on the card of that observer. Shirla pressing forwards once again. And remember, some judges like to see aggression. But it can't just be naked aggression. It has to be effective aggression. Final 30 seconds of a contest. That could well be decided by a sustained burst of quality such as that left-right success from Neg Matalov. Right hand is long and then a left hook crashes home for the man in blue once again. His accuracy is higher than that of his opponent's right hand success from Schürrle. Right hand response immediately from Neg Matalov. And again, as Schürrle is coming forwards, he's picked off by a flashing lead left hand from Negmatilov. Schürrle ends the contest with a left jab success. He thinks he's done enough. So too does Negmatilov. But what will say the five scoring judges? For what it's worth, in a contest that was very, very tight, this man taking the second round unanimously, I happen to think the more eye-catching shots, such as the right uppercut left hook, and then the flashing left hand in the closing stages, the right left in the closing stages from the man in blue may well be enough to tilt the balance in his favor. But how will the judges see it? It was an incredibly keenly contested affair. Who's going through to the second preliminary round? Remember, an absolute majority of three judges required. 2-1 is not enough. Here's the verdict. And there is confirmation of a split decision victory for Shabos Negmatilov. He cried out yes as he flexed his guns at the conclusion of the bout. And that is how he did it. 3-2, four scorecards of 28-29. Judge two from India scoring for Negmatilov in all of the three completed rounds. But a fair reflection on a 3-2 split with four cards returned of 28-29. An incredibly competitive affair. Very little in it from opening bell to last, but perhaps, perhaps, just the more eye-catching work
in the third round was enough to tilt it in favor of Shabos Negmatalov, the Tokyo 2020 Olympian, through to the second preliminary round here at Belgrade 2021. But Silvio Schürrle played a part in what was an absolutely riveting affair. The effects of the contest visible on the faces of both men.